Welcome back. You're watching Business 360. The Uddhav Thakre camp has moved the Supreme Court challenging the Election Commission's decision to recognize the Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde led faction as the official Shiv Sena and allowing them to use the bow and arrow symbol. It has allowed the Uddhav faction to use the flaming torch symbol in the upcoming by elections in Maharashtra. The Shinde faction took over the Shiv Sena party office in the state legislature today. It has also filed a caveat plea in the apex court. The rationale of this move is to ensure that no adverse order is passed against them without Without hearing their argument. Addressing a press conference today, Uddhav Thakre said that the EC should have waited for the Supreme Court verdict on disqualification of MLAs. जो चिन्ह हमें दिया है उनको जो चिन्ह दिया है जब तक सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फैसला नहीं होता है तब तक चुनाव आयोग अपना निर्णय ना सुनाए घर के बाहर हो गए हैं तो वो डिस्कालीफाई होने की संभावना अधिक है कानून के अनुसार जो घटना संविधान में लिखा है उसके अनुसार उन वो डिस्कालीफाई होने की संभावना अधिक है हमें कोई खतरा नहीं I'm now joined by former Chief uh, Election Commissioner, Mr. T.S. Krishnamurti. Mr. Krishnamurti, thank you very much for joining us. First thank of all, you. Thank you. was the ECI right in its rationale in awarding the bow and arrow symbol and the Shiv Sena name to the Eknath Shinde faction? Well, I've just cursorily gone through the order. I've not gone through the order in detail. But the order seems to be a well-reasoned order. But I don't know whether I mean, there are any arguments that the other party has got to go to the Supreme Court. So if it is challenged before the Supreme Court, Supreme Court can certainly hear and take a view on the matter. One point that was rejected by the ECI, that was made by the Uddhav Thakre faction, was the basis of the party constitution. The ECI ruled that the party constitution is itself undemocratic. Uh, there is a leader who has chosen the electorate and that body has chosen the leader. So this is... Uh, and uh, not how things function in a democratic country. So do you think uh, this was the right basis uh, on which the, uh, the, 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 the symbol was awarded to the Shinde faction? No, the party constitution should normally provide for democratic features, like the members of the election committee, everything should be elected by the members of the party and not by the leader. So it appears to be that the leader... Uh, uh, constituting an electoral college seems to be a little undemocratic. And that is one of the reasons that um, the election commission has gone by in its order. If uh, an uh, electoral college is determined only by the leader, it really seems to be undemocratic because normally an electoral college has to be uh, in the constitution on the basis of the approval of the, of the members of the party. So it seems to be a little incongruous that an elect leader can decide the electoral college. That is very apparently un uh, undemocratic. Right. Uh, do you think uh, the Uddhav Thakre camp has any legal arguments uh, to challenge this in the Supreme Court? Do you think there is merit in their arguments that uh, the ECI has wrongly awarded the symbol and the party name of Shiv Sena to uh, the Eknath Chende faction? I'm afraid I'm not able to, since I've not gone through in detail the order, I'm not in a position to straight away say that the order is cannot be challenged. My own feeling is any uh, aggrieved party is certainly entitled to go against the election commission. So I, I take it that the Supreme Court will uh, certainly bear in mind the challenges posed by the other side. But the order as I see it, seems to be a well-reasoned order. That's all I can say at the moment. Okay. And finally, uh, Mr. Krishnamurti, what is the precedent when it comes to cases like this? When you have a political party uh, where there has been a split? Uh, but, you see, the ma main um, order seems to be based on the fact that the electoral college itself is not properly constituted. Mm -hmm. So the facts are slightly different. In the case of Congress party where the split took place, or some other parties where the split took place, they were on the ground whether the majority rule was followed or not. So this seems to be a slightly different case. So I cannot say that there is a definite precedent on the matter raised in this case. All right, uh, Mr. Krishnamurti, thank you very much for joining us. So Mr. Krishnamurti there, the former CEC, saying that